on this edition of the news. PVC carbonized found at Target in Australia. What? The recently revealed Cobb Vant is now available for pre-order in Australia with the weirdest date to release ever. We'll talk more about that. Some lucky punters have found some brand new figures and you know, first looks on this channel, as well as we're gonna talk about that image of the Mandalorian mural, the one you see on the thumbnail, more about that. Where's Fennec Shan? All this and more coming up. So sat here watching Usual Mike TV when this happens. Then at the end of the program, they show the fan wall again. Da, 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 da. Super Sorrel, what are you doing there? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing there either, dude. Welcome to Usual Mike Television, your home action figure news. And today, first up, Aussie stuff never hits stores, very, very rarely. But TVC, unbelievable in this country, the carbonized TVC, the new ones, which you can see on the screen there of the Shaw Trooper, Moff Gideon, the Armour, and the Incinerator Trooper, all going for $29 in this country at Target. Nothing goes to Target. Our targets are not like your targets in the States. It's completely different in name only, but yeah, amazing. They're available. If you Aussies are keen, get out there and get them. $29, a lot of dollar redos. Some of you guys internationally already have your hands on these, but Aussie fans, there you go. It's an easy way to get them. The Black Series Cobb Vanth. Now, this figure is available for pre-order through EB Games in Australia. Around the world, you guys are getting them in June, July next year. It is a deluxe figure. So in this country, deluxe figures sell for $60. This one is listed for $55, but that's not the fun part. The fun part is the release date is November 15, 2021. Literally 20 days away, we're gonna have it in hand, apparently. Maybe an error, just point that out to everybody. There it is. It could be for you to go and pre-order from them and thinking you're going to get it early and then when it gets closer to the date they fix the date up. It's got the same date on it as the Gaming Greats figure so there's that. Maybe they think it's coming in the same crate box whatever. Don't know but very interesting indeed. For you guys in the US it is available on Amazon uh, as a listing for $31.49 USD. Also listed on EB Games we have the Rancor. Yes the crowdfunded one which you guys have for 350 US dollars it is going for 798 dollars and is being released apparently in December 2023 we'll get your hands on it long wait a lot of money 200 dollars deposit if you're keen go nuts now onto a few of you guys who picked up some cool stuff grab your hands together like this Woo! first up will be a figure Brian has his carbonized shore trooper beautiful um, the thing about them is, remember the original carbonized boxes which were in the Phase 3 packaging? They're all colored. These things are just the same kind of black and silvery. I wanted these vibrant colors, each, each box different, but they're going with this color scheme that every one of them kind of the same, with no numbers on the back because, well, they aren't cate categorized or numbered into anything, so very cool figure, very cool. And UK Star Wars Collector has found the Galen Urso from Rogue One at Forbidden Planet in Newcastle in the UK. £21.99, you see the price there. That's about what they pay for exclusive figures over there. I think £19.99 is around about what they pay in the pounds. But early, so you can see one in the background as well. So there you go, Galen Urso, one of the exclusives from the Rogue One lineup. And also Universal Collector has in hand the Artillery Trooper already. Let's have a look at the video. So here's the artillery trooper in his lovely looking box. I like this, nice. The Mandalorian colors, you've got the great, good artwork there when I'm roll running. <laughs> so this is a specialized Imperial Stormtrooper with his amazing mortar weapon. Here's the awesome artillery Stormtrooper and all his refinery looking really, really nice. I do like this. You've got the backpack on the back here, which is really cool. But I'm going to talk about the backpack in a minute. There's something I'm not happy with, but, <laughs> but I love this pauldron. I don't mind the yellow. The yellow's all right. Thank you, Matt. Awesome stuff. As usual, getting your figures really, really early. And we saw on the back number 13, which takes us to our next part of the story, the mural. The mural, that is number 13. Let's put the mural up on the screen. Artillery Trooper, right there, number 13. A lot of people said the next one, number 14, which is the Muddy Mando and Grogu, doesn't quite match up and Fennec Shan should be in between them. I thought about this for a while, I thought maybe it's not, but 
we did see from this image, Cobb Vanth is number 18. So the numbers do correlate properly. 14 for Mandu and Grogu, muddy version, or Avala 7, I believe it is. Number 15 matches up because his arm is on Migs Mayfield, so it makes Migs 15, then Boba Fett 16, then the next version of the Mando and the baby, which is uh, Maldo Crease, or pretty much the one with the spider. You're looking at number 17, and then Cobb Vanth is 18. One of my theories was that the Fennec Shan that has been rumored, it's a pipeline figure, would be pretty much not here, but in another set, which would be for Bad Batch. So she could be in this packaging. And then I thought maybe she might be held off and wait for the Book of Boba Fett. But if we go back to the footage from I Am Your Father's Day live stream, let's have a listen to what they say. So speaking of Mandalorian season two, our next pipeline reveals are all drawn directly from that entertainment. And our, our next reveal is another character we see in both those seasons, and that's Fennec Shan. If we're revealing characters from the Mandalorian. That's correct. They said that she is from the Mandalorian season two version. So it has to be in this wave. So it will be 19, 20, 21, whatever. Further down the track. So she's coming. It'll be in the Mandalorian line. There may be another version that they'll do for Bad Batch or later on for Book of Boba Fett. You know how Hasbro works. They make a mold. They just want to get the most out of it. You, you, you want to reuse that as much as possible. Different outfits, different looks, different shows, whatever. Same character. Look how many Luke Skywalkers there are. Millions. <laughs> also from that uh, I Am Your Father's Day, you can have a look at the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper. That's the Rogue One version of him. And also Bib Fortuna, which is going to be in the Jedi lineup. But we already know there's also a Princess Leia Ewok Village version in the dress, which will be Jedi as well. Which one of them will go next to Lando up there? Excellent. One of them. Looking forward to that. I like building my, my Jedi lineup. I don't want to miss the Jedi ones. I, I have missed a few of those, I'm, unfortunately. <laughs> I've got all the rights to Skywalkers. One. Last thing I want to talk about is a live stream that uh, Hasbro is going to do. Let me show you. Mr. Stevie is going to host it. And here's a video from his Instagram. Take it away. Mr. Stevie from Hasbro. Hey Hasbro Pulse Premium members, Steve Evans here, inviting you to an exclusive event on October 27th here at the Hasbro Global Organizational Headquarters at 1027 Newport Ave, Portucket, Rhode Island. Curious? Head over to HasbroPulse.com to find out more, and I hopefully will see you there. So as you saw on the screen there, there was the, um, they're going to have exclusive content reveals and selected product drops. That's where I think this um, Jetta Patrol, Stormtrooper or Big Fortuna, I don't think they're going to do a lot for Star Wars, maybe one, two, maybe three items, but they're going to try and cover all bases. You'll see from Transformers and Ghostbusters, Marvel, of course, hopefully G.I. Joe as well. But yeah, I, I think they'll just do a, a smattering of product. We will reveal those later on down the track when we find out what they are. Excellent stuff. And before I go, let's put up the picture. See, I've got da, 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 da. the first one. Have a look what they look like all together. I'm going to put this image on the social medias. Lovely, lovely. There's the three of them. I bet you all can't wait to get your hands on every version of Mando and Grogu in every situation he's had in the series. <laughs> I'm sure there's another one coming for the next season. Thank you very much. You guys being great. Let me know your thoughts down below. Until the next video, if you'd like to support the channel, there is the link for the members. Hit that join button. Join today. It all helps support the channel. Or you might like to get yourself something from Amazon. Click the influencers link in the description. Buy yourself something nice. A little bit helps out the channel. Doesn't cost you any more. Or you might want a bit of merch from the Redbubble store featuring Usual Mike Television logos. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Usual Mike 30 or on Instagram at Usual Mike TV. If you haven't done so already, hit Ooh. subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.